Hello friends. Today I am going to show you a, one activity to introduce the congruence chapter in grade 7. Okay. So before going to the congruence chapter, let me explain you about the symmetrical figure. You have done in grade 6. You can see this example, this figure. If you will open it. So these two parts, this is known as line of symmetry and these two parts A and B are called symmetrical figures because they cover each other exactly. So these two are known as symmetrical figures. Now we will use the same concept for today's activity. So my today's activity is basically for the teachers. Teachers, you can divide your class in four or five groups and you can ask students, you need to collect two symmetrical uh, um, objects and you need to bring it in the school. You require one chart paper, fevicol, cello tape, glue, whatever you want and you need to stick these symmetrical items in the chart paper and you will be given marks for this activity. Okay, so students may collect many things. Uh, they will come to school. Uh, I have spread here one green color uh, mat, but students will use white color shade or they can use different color shades also. And they are supposed to bring two symmetrical objects. So here I am showing you a few things. Uh, these two razors, blades, shampoo pouch, two buttons, two pens, two ice cream sticks, two chalks, two coins and just make them clear you need to stick this on, on the chart paper so accordingly they will bring uh, these are two stapler pens, bottle cap, headphone covers, two chocolates, two toffees, two pencils then these are two medicines two thumb pins stan bindis matchsticks earbuds sari pin Photographs, hair pins. This is the roll on which threads are there. Two hair bands, hooks, another type of hair pin. So, like that, many things are there at home. Even you can say sell. You can consider these two needles. Okay. So different different groups will bring the material. You are not supposed to tell them anything about that. Just collect the symmetrical items. Same which are in same shape and size. They will bring in school and they will show you. They will stitch. Uh, they will stick on the chart paper. Now you can evaluate this in two or three ways. You can count the number of items for each group. How many items they have brought. So you can uh, write down in some place. Another way, second part, you can say that the things which are common, just cut out and see what are the extra new things each group has brought. Based upon that, you can give marks. And the third way, how they have arranged. Now, these many things are there. This can be arranged in a proper way to give some look. So, just a minute, I am trying to give some look for that. So how they are arranging the things, uh, you can get some human figure, you can get some other things. So like that also they can arrange. These are two eyes and the coin can be arranged on this bottle cap and these headphones. Okay, now this look like a nose. This is looking like lips. So this lips. Lips are with the red color, so you can arrange with red color. Now, I am just removing these congruent figures. You ask students to arrange their congruent figures. Okay. Now, here you can arrange in different ways. This is looking like hair. 
now here you can make the hands these two are looking like the ears so like that they can arrange in different different way and you will get one nice figure this is looking like the chicks and here you can arrange this so in what way they are arranging the things based upon that also you can give them marks so symmetrically they are arranging this so i have just given you few example how the way they can arrange the things so based upon that also you can give marks okay so this is the activity this is group activity to introduce uh, this congruence chapter after arranging this you can ask students uh, what can you observe here so students can uh, students may say that here the things which we have used they are same in shape and size okay so the two things which are same in shape and size are known as congruent so all these are congruent figures you can see that already we have given the top name of this topic congruent figures so the things which are same in shape as well as in size is known as congruent figures now these two things are same in shape and size so this relationship is known as congruence the relationship the things being congruent is known as congruence so the meaning of congruence is two things are same in shape and size then the figures are known as congruent figures and this relationship is known as congruence now i can i want to show you few more things just a minute let me clear this this is a nice activity after sticking on the chart you can use this chart for the classroom board decoration and many other ways we can use this okay so now we can see that these two rectangles these are rectangles even you can see that these are the congruent okay so these two rectangles they cover each other exactly so these are known as congruent figures and these two rectangles are congruent if the length a and the breadth of two rectangle is equal okay if length and breadth of two rectangle is equal then these are known as congruent rectangles now a square two squares are known as two squares are known as congruent square means all the four sides are same so if the length of the side is same for both the square then these two squares are known as congruent two circles two circles are said to be congruent if the radius of the circle is same whenever we draw circle we use their radius so if the radius of the circles are same then these two circles are known as congruent circles these are two line segments these two line segments are known as congruent if the length of the line segment is same for example the first one is 5 cm the another one should be 5 cm if the length of the line segment is same then two line segments are known as congruent this is one angle and this is another angle these two angles are said to be congruent if their measurement this measurement is same you can see that both the angles they covers each other their measurement is same if their measurement will not be same you can see here now they do not cover each other so now they are not congruent so when two angles are said to be congruent when the measurement of two angles are equal then these are known as congruent okay so now this congruent we are going to study for the triangles okay so here you can see that 
two triangles are there if the question is there are they congruent if you can see that if you are going to write down putting down is directly they are not congruent okay so sometimes you need to flip you need to turn suppose i am flipping this now you can see that these two triangles covers each other exactly so now these two triangles are congruent suppose like that is there so sometimes you need to rearrange this and you need to find out yes these two triangles covers each other or not so this is the way we say that two triangles are congruent if and only if this angle and this angle is same these two angles are same these two angles are same at the same time the length of this side and this red color side should be same the length of green color side should be same and the length of this purple color should be same so we can say that corresponding parts these are known as corresponding part these are known as corresponding angles again corresponding angles again corresponding angles this green color is known as corresponding sides this red color is known as corresponding side so the, and this purple color is also known as corresponding sides so we say that two triangles are congruent if their corresponding parts are equal in length and shape they are same in length and they are same in shape in shape, shape and size so there are three angles and three sides when i have explained you about the triangles i told you there a triangle has six elements which are the six elements three angles and this three sides so all the corresponding three angles and corresponding three sides are equal in shape and size then only these two triangles are known as congruent triangles so now in next video i am going to explain you about the congruent triangles what are the criteria that two and two triangles will be congruent so please watch my next video also thank you for watching today's video